So this week, we're looking at contemporary trends in education, digital trends, as we should put it. So to start things off, we're going to look at three of these trends. Now, there's many others, and we're going to explore some of them. But firstly, I'd like you to look at mobile learning and the potential for mobile learning and its impact upon education. So think of around some of the positives and the negatives around mobile learning. I've provided you with a reading and some notes to consider various aspects of mobile learning. And we'll discuss these and unpack some of the ongoing trends of what may occur with mobile learning and education. Now then I want you to look at social media. Social media is changing as the use of social media in society changes. And certainly how it's used in education has changed quite a bit. Uh, for many, many years, educational institutions strongly resisted social media. But as it's now become more normalized, and indeed in some aspects, we're moving away from the use of a lot of social media in society, or at least changing its form, it's becoming less of a concern within education. Now, originally, social media was very much around bulletin boards, and sharing things online in terms of files and email discussions and things of that nature. And then with the likes of Facebook, and Twitter, we saw collections and platforms that enabled this communication to be more seamless and coordinated. And now we've seen a shift towards other forms of social media, such as sharing images on things like Instagram, and particularly the short form video, which has sort of supplanted a lot of social media use for younger generations. But again, that is now also changing into different formats. So consider social media's impact upon education, and in particular, the trends of where that may be going into the future. And the third trend I want you to consider is around data and analytics. We collect lots of data in education and we apply it for many different uses. But some of these can be positive and negative depending upon perspectives. So we're going to discuss the um, challenges of collecting data and more importantly, analyzing and using that data, but also some of the concerns around that and who holds and who has access to that data and who has ownership of that data. And in this, considering the trends of where the use of data in education may be progressing into the future, particularly as we now have technologies such as AI, which makes effective use of large collections of data. So these are some of the trends we're going to start off with and discuss. Each of them have a reading that you can delve into them in greater depth. And we'll then explore these in the tutorials.